Okay, things that you'll need before you start the project. I do, for the way I uh, make the medium, I like to mull the lead in with the oil because I think it just moves the process along a little quicker. Now, the other thing, they're very cheap now. You can get scales, dirt cheap, that can go by the gram, by the ounce. So you need a scale, tubes to pour your medium in. You really want to keep your medium airtight since it is a sicative. A beaker, I like the beaker. I had a bigger beaker, I don't know where it is now. But uh, a beaker, I like the beaker because it doesn't allow much oxygen in. And you can see very clearly the smoke dissipate. I like to have something to stir it in. Uh, so I have a stainless steel rod. I think stainless steel would be better than aluminum. And of course I have the roping gloves to make sure that there's no holes in them. The roping gloves because that just makes it a little easier. And then I have a set of welding gloves in case I feel like there's an emergency. You should have a board for a stop to put over that in case it does turn to fire. We have a servant of pallet knives and of course a heater. Linseed oil and the lead. On this particular recipe I'm going to be using the golden lead that Ru Rubens liked uh, along with the oil. The oil, the only oil that I can recommend commercially is the Chelsea oil. And then the mastic. This makes the black oil, this makes the resin, adds the resin, creates the glossiness, which is the part of the Rubens recipe. Rubens recipe number one. I like to use the uh, oil, the litharge, and the mastic. We'll make the black oil first. I like to pre measure everything. So, my notes tell me that I need 10 ounces of cold pressed linseed oil. And we'll make the unit. Let's go ahead, since we have the uh, grams set up, let's go ahead and measure the grams. And we'll tear the scale to zero. Now we can check the ounces to grams by, it says 0.5 ounces, half, half an ounce. This is where I'd say you could wear a dust respirator. Wow, that's 15 grams. We want 14 grams. Twelve. Fifteen. Okay, that says 14 grams. Now I can check that. See if it says 0.5. Okay, 0.5. So that's exactly right. So we have the right amount of litharge. That's the golden litharge. And we want five ounces of mastic. So we'll tear the scale. And we'll go after five ounces. Five ounces, five point eight. Five point four. Okay, five. Five ounces of mastic. In linseed oil we want ten ounces of linseed oil. We want ten ounces of linseed oil. Ten ounces of linseed oil. Okay. 
The next step is to make the black oil. Litharge measured. Merger points out that the Rubens recipe that he likes to um, use about 6% lead. Uh, most people use about 5%. That's five, half an ounce to the 10 ounces of oil. If you get too much lead, then it's going to dry real quickly. So what I do is I take the pre-measured lead and add a little bit of oil to it from the already existing oil and then I mull it. The reason why I do this is it just cooks quicker. It's my own personal thing. You don't have to do this. You can bypass this step. But it makes it, it, I think it strains better. There's less waste. And what we're doing is making this into a liquid. I suppose if you did the 6% and did the mulling, it would practically come out to closer to 5%. Notice how this is becoming a nice paste. That's what we want, is that paste. Need a little more oil. Still got some grittiness to it. I like to get all that grittiness out. And we have now a, a nice, starting to come very smooth. Then when we heat this, since the lead is heavier, it's going to go to the bottom. And so 5% lead. 0.5% lead. Now we're ready to start cooking. It's starting to turn. Of a maximum of six, I have it set at four. Seems to be a good temperature. It's turning caramel now. We're keeping the lead in suspension. So it's not sticking to the bottom. Nice caramel color. Keep the lid off the bottom. Be sure not to drip the oil when you take this in and out, to drip the oil on the side. It's starting to turn a little darker. Yeah, we're getting kind of a little mocha brown. Won't be long before it turns black. So we keep the lead in suspension. It's the color of coffee with cream. And of course, you have black coffee. It's now turning. It's almost black oil. Yay! It looks like number four on my hot plate is a really good temperature to keep it at. See how black that's going? 
Let's cut it nice and black. There's our black oil. That's all you need if you want to paint like Titian and Tiapolo. That's the black oil right there. We now have black oil. We want it to be coffee clear. Clear as coffee. It just needs to go a little darker. Very carefully take it off. Now we're going to very carefully add little by little our I don't want them to lump up, so I could go ahead and start cooking it. That added to the mixture. It's almost completely dissolved. With this welding glove on, it's still pretty hot. The mastic is fully dissolved into the black oil. And set that aside, let it cool down a little bit before we add the turps. We add the turps, we filter it and add it to the tubes. Now we want to add 10 ounces pine gum spirits. So we're going to turn on the scale, ounces, it's teared, so we want 10 ounces of this. Ten ounces. Okay. Stir this a bit. Make sure that there's nothing on the bottom. And there is nothing on the bottom. It's a little warm. We'll put a glove on. And we'll add 10 ounces of turpentine. See that smoke coming off? That's. And there's your merge medium. I have a nylon filter in here. It's cooled enough. Pour the contents of this can into that can, filtering it. And stir it. And we want to get it into the tubes as fast as possible.
Now this tube is rather interesting. It's got a, um, a sticky. It's got some sticky material here, which looks pretty good. It's sealed nicely. Overlap it once. Overlap it twice. Okay, the marriage meeting. What's it like? It has this fluid consistency. Pacheco says it's like butter. It has pliability, durability, and helps the brush stroke. Now when you leave it like this in the paint, it will remain, it will keep that liveliness to the paint texture. Uh, has sickative quality, which means it should dry overnight. Very transparent, beautiful medium. Ah.